Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Almascati. Can you explain us uh, briefly um, the role of your uh, Bahraini Youth Society for uh, Human Rights? Yes, uh, Bahraini Youth Society for Human Rights is working in a human rights situation in Bahrain from 2005. Uh, but we became more and more active in uh, 2011 when the revolution started in, in the country and we saw there is a, a, a lack of information coming from the ground. So we start to having a documentation uh, programs to tell the people what's happening in the ground and telling the international community uh, uh, what's happening in, in Bahrain. And now we thinking to, to uh, we are starting to try having a radio, community radio in Bahrain. We we saw that uh, we see this this uh, uh, Bahrain TV, the the official TV in Bahrain is not giving uh, a credible information or uh, or uh, uh, a strong information. So we think a radio uh, via internet can help the the human rights situation and democracy also. So, uh, do you work mainly with the media like uh, Twitter, Facebook, I mean, social networks, or um, which kind of uh, social, me so social network do you usually use? We, we actually, in Bahrain, actually, we started with a Facebook. Uh, but after the revolution, we became more active in Twitter. Uh, like in our, in our society, most of our uh, colleagues in the society having Twitter account, we leading people from, from Twitter. I have uh, uh, 60,000 followers in the Twitter and people following me. Uh, I, I give some instruction in the Twitter, some information, uh, some education also about the situation, about the human rights, how, how they can use the Human Rights Council, how they can use some of the techniques also helping them in the security, digital security, uh, especially p uh, government trying to arrest everyone using nicknames uh, in, the, in the Twitter. So we're trying to help these people to not be uh, targeted by the authorities. Thank you very much. Can you provide us just a um, few sketches about the um, still ongoing Bahraini revolution, which is the situation right now? Uh, revolution started in 2011, but uh, the government was crashed the, gov uh, the, the, the uh, protest uh, in, t in March 2011. And it was held by the Saudi Arabia and other uh, countries in the, in the region. Uh, but people are decided to continue their struggle with all this uh, pain, pain in, in the ground. Uh, people decide to continue because they are demanding the constitution of monarchy. Uh, they demanding their rights. They are not demanding to or not ask anyone to go out from their country, but we demand to, to change the situation, more, more, more rights for the people, more rights. We are not demanding that for Shia or for Sunni. Uh, we are demanding for everyone. Uh, but the government trying to turn this to sectarian issues uh, between Sunni and Shia, and, and that helped by Iran when Iran tried to interfere and Saudi Arabia trying to interfere. We, we want to say we don't want anyone to interfere. This is our country. We will continue our struggle. Okay. So, just the last question. Um, is it possible to say that the Bahraini Youth Society for Human Rights is a, a kind of apolitical um, association? And uh, I mean, you don't have uh, any <coughs> affiliation, specific affiliation uh, with political parties, association, or movement? We, we work with everyone, but we don't belong to anyone. Uh, we don't belong to any uh, political association. We don't belong to any uh, uh, political movement because we are uh, uh, away from all the political view because we are totally independent. We want to document this, uh, the uh, violation. We're trying to tell the international community of what's happening. If we became uh, a part of any political, no one will listen to us. No one will think that what we are saying is credible. Thank you very much. Thank you.